What's up guys, I'm Jeremy with IcefulPower.com and today I am going to show you how to wire the glory hole. So, um, got a lot of questions since I started doing the YouTube stuff on, on what the hell a jig charging cup uh, is. And basically, it's a cup with, with UV lights, it's panel mount so it goes on uh, on top of a box or you know whatever custom setup you have in your ice house. And you put your ice fishing jig in there. Um, a lot of ice fishing jigs nowadays have glow paint on them, and that glow paint uh, reacts with the UV light more so than about any other light out there. It makes it glow longer. So you dip your dip dip your jig in there, turn your cup on, and it just makes it makes it last quite a while. Now, word of caution: I designed this know, three or four years ago. Starting to see a lot of copycats. So unless it says IceholePower.com on it, it's it's a copcat knockoff cup. So make sure you get the real deal. Before we get going here, shout out to John Steer. He made the sign for me. Uh, if you're not familiar with John, that's he's the guy behind JDS Outdoors. So a few years back, he started uh, he did this this power box video that's got a stupid amount of views, and for the most part. If you see a, a, a box like this for sale, it's ba it's gonna be based off of John's video. Uh, we do stuff a little bit different as far as wiring our our boxes uh, compared to what John did in his video. He likes to use the uh, the fuse block, which isn't you know perfectly fine. We ha we actually stock them fuse blocks because of his video. But huge thanks to John. Uh, really appreciate it. Been working with him last few years now he's made some do-it-yourself videos for us with our kits um, just to give another perspective on on how how to wire these things so uh thank you john i'll make sure to link uh, um, his channel in the descriptions let's get on with it I told power. get you so if you haven't already do me a favor hit that subscribe button and that like button it really helps us out Let's get this thing wired. So we have two different size uh, glow cups. This is the, the original size. You can see we have a hook guard in there. Um, our original our original ones did not have that. So to, to prevent uh, hooking, hooking up with those lights, which wasn't a huge problem, but people were still asking for it. So we went ahead and did it. Cool thing about this this guard here is it glows in the dark. Let's say you buy one of the glow cups and you're gonna get the cup, of course. We usually make this wire about a foot and a half or so long. If you need longer wire, not a big deal, just message us or leave a note on your on your order. Uh, you're gonna get two rocker switches. You can pick whatever color you want. One's one's actually a spare, so you don't need two to, to wire this up. You we always just like to send spares. So uh, you're gonna get some mounting hardware. I don't have that in front of me right now. And then you are gonna get an ice hole power sticker. So first thing you need to do. Oh, let's talk about switches. Okay, so you got three prongs on here. The copper brass color prong. That is gonna be your negative. Um, that serves no function in the switch except to light this LED. Now these two are the important ones. So these are just, uh, this is the positive side. So how these switches work is they just make or break. So switch on, you're making, switch off, you're breaking. So either you're open or closed. It doesn't matter which one you go to. For consistency, consistency sake, I like to go power in on the outside, accessory on, on, the, on the inside. Uh, John Steer over at JDS, he does it the other way. He always goes power in, power out. There's no right or wrong way. They both work just fine. So however you want to do it, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to the outside. So let's get our negative going first here. We are just going to tie this together. And this is going to apply, this, this method here, wiring this, this is going to apply to 
whatever if you got a panel and your and your um, fish house if you have a a wheelhouse mount that you got from uh, Kobe Outdoors Kobe Manufacturing but we're gonna hook that right up to that negative that copper when I'm putting it to the battery you I'm assuming you already have your fuse protection I'm gonna go straight to the battery for the video here just make sure you your your glow cup is is protected has short circuit protection that one here in a minute now these since these wires I believe they're 20 gauge I'm just gonna fold this guy over since he's gonna go on by himself if you have red uh, spade connectors that's gonna be ideal these blue ones are a little bit big okay so this is accessory positive straight to the glow cup we're gonna put that on the middle again doesn't matter if you want to go on the outside like john does go for it power in i'm going to the outside here let's hook it up to the battery now i absolutely love these amp outdoors lithium batteries i have them on the website i've been working with them for a few years Matt over there, he's a great guy, knowledgeable. Him and I started our companies about the same time. So um, if you haven't upgraded to lithium yet, check out my other videos. I'll link the description. You, they are well worth it. And they're gonna last, you actually save money by buying these because it'll last five times as long as your, your sealed lead acid batteries. So we got it hooked up, power on, turns that on, lights up. That LED in here lights up. So what I was saying earlier about the negative, the only purpose that negative does, purpose that negative serves is to power this LED. See that negative still running through here? It's a junction point, running through here, back to the cup. So if you have a light switch that's not lighting up, but your accessory still working, probably something going on with this negative uh, terminal there. So that's how you wire one up. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, in the description, I will leave a link to the cups. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one.